Well, I recently found out how to do a password recovery, I guess unofficially, on a Micrologix 1000. Um, I think this process should work for a Slick 500, uh, but I don't have one here to test. Uh, it's going to come in handy, I guess, for guys like myself. Um, on the floor, machines need changes made or you need to do backups, and the OEMs are stingy about letting you in. Uh, I think this is kind of nice, uh, kind of a back door. Um, I hate dealing with OEMs, so after today I'll make up an official cable so I can do this. Uh, the situation ever arises, but uh, it's pretty simple. All I uh, have set up here is a standard serial cable uh, from the programming computer uh, to the PLC. Then off that cable, I have another. Uh, cable plugged into a second serial port and I'm tying 2 and 5 um, on the programming PC to 2 and 5 on uh, my second PC uh, with the laptop on the bench here. Uh, so what we're doing is we're just sucking out the transmit on the uh, PLC to receive on the second port. Um, on our piggyback computer open up hyperterminal uh, configure your COM port settings and when you uh, try to connect to a password protected PLC um, I'll end up flashing that code on the hyper terminal so I have a blank program right uh, up here right now we'll put a password in so 9654877 9654877. We got our password. We'll download it. Okay, I'll go offline. All right, now it's like you're coming up to a machine cold. Well. Connect the hyper terminal and we'll try to go online. From what I can see, it usually always puts a zero in front of the code, so you can just ignore that. Um, but there it is. And we're on. So Kind of pretty handy. Thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, to be used honestly. Uh, besides, that's it.